Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. Today I decided to do a weekly vlog, so I'm gonna try to do it. I haven't done one of these in so long. I feel like it's overdue and I want to catch you guys up with like, you know, my routines during the week, my work, like what I do for work because I feel like a lot of people know what I do, but maybe just like not the everyday tasks of it. So I want to get a little bit more into my corporate job. I'm also a photographer on the side and I also do YouTube. I feel like there's going to be a lot going on this week at my corporate job. They have conference starting tomorrow. Usually you like travel to either Athens, Georgia because they're headquartered there or like a destination conference. I'm so sad that it's not happening because apparently it's super fun, but this year it's going to be virtual. So I am a content creator. So I do their corporate social media. And then I also help out all their properties in their portfolio with photography and videography whenever they need it. So my job actually does consist of some travel, but obviously with COVID, I'm not able to travel. I did go to a couple of Texas properties because it was like driving distance. I'm not sure if I already said this, but my corporate job is um, a student housing company. So that's why they have like all these properties. They're huge into their marketing especially for their newer properties so they always want to have like really good video ads and all of that and that's where I come in so for photography this week I have to work my butt off and get really into marketing because I have not been good about posting on my photography account if you guys are interested you can follow me here Sonali Productions on Instagram I also have a website and I also have a YouTube channel because I do videography too but it's been mostly photography um so i moved here to austin in june 2019 i moved here without a job and so i was trying to i wouldn't say pursue my photography career but just kind of see where it took me while i was looking for a job and then i obviously got a job so i couldn't really spend too much time on the marketing aspect of photography which is extremely important because i get a lot of my clients through referrals of either people working with me or seeing me on instagram looking up a hashtag and seeing my photos something like that so i need to get back to it because grad season is approaching which is my favorite freaking time of the year i love photographing grads and i'm right next to ut well about you know 15 20 minutes away um so that is where i usually do grad photos i think i love doing grad photos so much because that's kind of where i started to build my business because I did them in college when I went to the University of Central Florida. I graduated in 2019. Um, so yeah, that's a little background. If you guys are new, hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight of who I am, what I do and all of that. And then obviously, of course I said I do YouTube and then like all the Instagram influencing kind of things. Definitely want to grow my platforms this year. My word of the year is growth. And that is in like every aspect, growing my platforms, obviously, like I just said, growing my relationships, and there's just so many like growing my vocabulary because I feel like I need to be better about that. And I finally wrote in my manifestation journal last night. So I'm going to continue to do that. I like wrote down all the brands I want to work with this year. Another word I wrote down is health and I want to definitely get back into the health journey. Last week I did 12, 3, 30 pretty much every single day and I really want to continue to do that. So I'm going to take you guys through my week, but right now I'm going to get back to work. I just took some before and after pictures and videos of yeah. my body because I wanted to try to do 12, 3, 30 for like two weeks straight and do a whole video on it. So if you don't see the video, then I did not complete the challenge, but hopefully I can do it because I did it almost every day, like I said last week. So I think, you know, I just need to get back into it. Took yesterday off, but it's not like the hardest workout ever. So I feel like it gives me a little bit more confidence because it's, you know, not like a dreadful workout, if that makes sense. I mean, obviously I just don't like to sweat. I think that's like my biggest problem, but we are gonna go head to the apartment gym. Thank God it's open back up for 24 hours. Still in the morning? I guess so. I have an issue with my AirPods falling out and my Bose ones are like broken. So annoying because I oh, forgot I didn't even take this off yet. <laughs> but yeah, so I got these little ear buddy things that attach to your AirPods because I have the first generation, not the pros or whatever. So they feel nice and 
snug so I will keep you guys updated to see if they're actually um, worth it because they're actually they're not even that expensive they're like 13 bucks they do work when you find like the exact position they need to be in but Ryan just pulled one out and now I couldn't get it back in so I was like pausing my freaking arm workout because it was like sliding out the other annoying thing about these is that obviously you can't put them in the airpods case to charge or like just to you know hold so you have to like take them off which is kind of gross and weird so i guess i gotta do that now but other than that i mean if you don't want to buy a whole other headphones <laughs> these are a good solution it's really nice when i'm actually busy and have a lot of stuff to do at work because then I never think about eating, which is like not not in that way, but you know, like especially because I'm doing intermittent fasting, if I was just like not doing much, I would definitely be thinking like, oh, I'm hungry, I should probably eat. And if I'm ever really starving, I will eat, but today was not one of those days. This is my new obsession. This is the So Delicious Dairy Free Coconut Milk Yogurt. It is so yummy then i put some honey bunches of oats <laughs> like it's granola in my yogurt it's kind of weird but it just tastes so freaking good i want to go grocery shopping today so i think i might hit up walmart and trader joe's i don't know sounds like it's gonna be an expensive trip but i haven't been shopping in a really long time and i've actually been using the stuff in my fridge and usually i just like let it all go bad like not intentionally obviously but this time i really tried to use up everything i wanted to go to the grocery store like on friday but it just like would not have been smart to buy groceries right as we were going into the weekend because i knew i was just going to eat out so my plan right now is to not be super strict with the diet but still eat a lot healthier and then on the weekends you know i can eat healthier or you know treat myself i really want to make this into a lifestyle and not have me hate it because then i'm just gonna like think about the day that i can end this all and like get to my goal weight and then go back to the way i'm eating so i just like don't want that to happen so i'm gonna enjoy my snack slash breakfast slash lunch i don't even know it probably won't fill me up to be honest but it'll be good for now i have the airpods in with the ear buddies and i'm getting ready to go to the grocery store um I think I'm just gonna go to Walmart today. Unfortunately, I don't think I should go to Trader Joe's because I feel like we don't have much space in our freezer. We have like the world's smallest freaking freezer. It's like a freaking high school locker. So I don't think I should be doing that, but there's so many like good snacks at Trader Joe's. So maybe I'll just go later in the week and just get like the things I really, really need um, at Walmart. But I kind of made like a meal plan sort of thing. For this week tonight I really want to make this like a uh, quinoa cheesy chicken thing I don't know one of my friends made it for me and it was delicious and I'm like randomly craving it I feel like it would be perfect for a bachelor night tonight's bachelor y'all know and yeah so I'm gonna head out probably gonna vlog on my phone just so I don't have to carry this monstrous setup <laughs> especially because I'm gonna be alone Ryan's still working so gonna head out It's currently 6 p.m. I have no idea how it took me that long to get the dang groceries because I swear I think I left at like 3.30, maybe 4. But I did drop off one of my friend's birthday presents to her apartment complex. Then I went to the grocery store, but still, I don't think it should have taken me that long. So I was really going through every aisle though because I haven't been in so long. And so I was just checking everything out. I was gonna do a grocery haul, but then I was like, it's just too much and I need to start cooking. So I will just show you guys like what I'm eating throughout the week. But ooh, I feel like my hair is like a little crazy today. <laughs> I do wanna show you guys my new obsession. I only had it once, but it was like the best meal I had that week. Like maybe that's a little dramatic, but these are so good. I just went to Walmart, so hopefully you guys can find them too. They're just like so flavorful. Um, 370 calories for the whole thing. And I just like cut them up and ate it for like a whole meal. And it was like really satisfying, especially for like a lunch meal. Okay, I have a couple more groceries to get. Ryan's out playing golf right now. Otherwise, I would totally ask him to help me. But I do need to start cooking dinner because at 7, The Bachelor is on. Perks of Living in Central Standard Time comes on at 7, ends at 9, and you still have, like, your night. You know what I mean? Because, like, when I was in Florida or Georgia and I was watching The Bachelor, I feel like if it ended at 10, 
I felt like my night was already over, you know? But I'm gonna put these groceries away. I'm literally sweating right now because I was wearing a hoodie walking up three floors. So yeah, our apartment complex does not have an elevator. I'm making my quinoa dish. It's actually a lot more tedious than I thought it would be, but it's gonna be so good. So I'm really excited. But I actually wanted to get more of those clean yerba mate drinks because I just drink a few sips when I'm feeling tired and they're really good for like energy. <laughs> but I saw these and I've seen a lot of people drink them. They're um, zero sugar, antioxidants, vitamins, five calories and zero carbohydrates. So let's do a taste test. Is this a caffeine one? I don't think this is caffeine. There's some ones that are caffeinated. Ooh, love me some soda. Everyone always says like, stay away from the sodas and then you'll lose weight like so easily. And I just, I literally just can't do that, so. Mmm, <laughs> lemonade, I like it. Tuesday, I just finished my workout. Actually, I still wanna do some arms. I just did a quick body shower and now I'm actually gonna get ready and I usually don't, but today is the first day of our virtual conference at my company, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna have to be on camera, unfortunately, but I also have the thought of like, well, it's the whole company. Like, I don't really think anyone's gonna see me. But just in case, you know, show some face kind of thing. Um, so I'm just gonna do like a quick makeup routine. I'm using my Makeup Forever HD foundation stick. This is my go-to whenever I have to do really quick makeup. I have no idea what to do for my hair, but I feel like whenever I straighten it, I feel like my hair gets so greasy so fast. And for some reason, whenever I curl it, it's like fine. So I might just see what it looks like natural because I wore it in a bun and it was like wet last night. So it could have some nice curl to it, a little wave. Let's hope for that so I don't have to do my hair. When I was on the treadmill, I was watching all of these what I eat in a day TikToks and they just inspired me so much to actually cook for myself and really just get this health journey going. I think I started last Tuesday, so it's kind of already been going, but just continue it. I just did my hair, quick little curl wave type thing, and now I'm gonna like set up my desk. A lot of times I do work from my couch, but obviously if I'm on video, I don't wanna be looking like unprofessional in front of like the whole company. So I'm gonna set up my desk, bring my laptop over here. I have a few other things that I wanna do for social. Like I wanna put an Instagram story up with like a countdown thing, but I'm gonna have to do that really fast because it's about to start. Why not do a little unboxing of my corporate jobs conference box? I really didn't even know we were gonna like get sent goodies because this is my first conference ever. So let's dig in. The theme this year is level up with Landmark. If you guys didn't know, you can always look on my LinkedIn, but I work for Landmark Properties. All right, let's see what it is in here. Okie dokie. First I see a ring pop, and that is very tempting. Um, and then we got a shirt, and it's comfort colors, hallelujah. Oh, it's long sleeve, that's cute. Okay, this is like the logo for the conference. I'm really sorry that I'm sitting right next to the AC vent. It's so freaking loud. Let's see what else. Okay, what the heck is this? This is cute. I think it's a candy. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out how to open this. I guess it's a little candy. That is really cute. It's like a little Pac-Man thing. And then we got a Moscow Mule thingy, my bobber. It has like a little Moscow Mule kit. And then I really hope they sent me a pen because I got one pen the first and only time I visited Landmark Properties uh, headquarters. I see a pen. Oh, it's not the same pen, but I'm hoping it's it writes good. But I got this one pen and it's like my favorite pen ever. And next time I go, I'm, I'm gonna steal a couple of pens, but we got a little journal, which is perfect because I really want to 
have like a couple of journals just to manifest like I want one for just health and I want one for just my business this is really cool um, it's a webcam cover I actually don't have one so that's nice and then what the heck what the heck I was not expecting this this is what's in the Moscow mule kit I'm very confused but it looks really cool I think I'm gonna put on my shirt and like maybe take a selfie I don't really want to take a selfie but I want to encourage other people to do so so I feel like if I do it then they're they would be more inclined to do so because I want to have some content for our social platforms throughout the week so I'm gonna slip on this and I'll be right back got my t-shirt on ready to go I think I might just eat something before we start just because I don't want to be eating on the video call and I usually eat like 12 and after but it's starting at 12 I just clocked out of work and now I'm going to schedule some pins on my personal Pinterest um, I have heard that Pinterest you know helps to grow your audience on every platform or any platform that you want but it is just so hard and I just don't know what I'm doing I actually paid for a course like forever ago it was called pinfinite growth or something like that i don't even know how i found it but i paid for that course it was not very cheap um and i need to take it again but right now i'm just scheduling it in the pinterest app itself the only thing is you can only schedule it two weeks out it's really annoying because i want to schedule all these grad photos to go out when people are like booking and when people are you know t doing their sessions like april may time so i might just like repin them during that time i don't know i really just need to look into doing that course again but there's just so many things i have to do also tax season is approaching and i have to get all that shit done with i have exciting news though i finally created my own llc i said that i was gonna make one for years now and thank god my mom helped me she's always there to kind of just like push me to do things that i hate doing last year i got an accountant but my mom really helped with all that and i wasn't really making as much money as i did this past year uh, with my photography so this year it's getting a little more serious which is good news because you know i'm making more money but the hard part is that there are so many like random streams of income that I have. So I have this part-time job. I have um, photography and videography. Then I have like my influencer stuff and sponsorships and all of that. Google AdSense. I honestly don't even know where to start. But obviously I'm getting an accountant because I would literally do it wrong and accidentally end up in jail. So we're not doing that this year not going to jail. I actually got inspired to get on Pinterest and start pinning all of these because I saw this TikTok saying that, I'll show you guys, you can go into ads, create an ad, then you just scroll and then you'll see this keyword thing. So I'm going to just put in graduation photos. So then over here it gives you all of these recently searched or like most searched keywords having to do with what you just put in the search bar. So I'm going to add, let's see, I don't want to do anything too vague. All right, so I hit senior pictures, senior picture ideas, graduation day photos, um, graduation pictures, makeup maybe. And she said just put it in your description and I'm not sure if she meant to hashtag them. So I just went ahead and did that or if you just have to work it into your description wording. So I'm kind of trying to figure that out right now. So this is what I mean when I said that you can't really schedule out your content because these dates are grayed, but this is like the last day right now that I can schedule because it's like two weeks out. It's 5.12 and Ryan just got off of work so we thought that we would do a little Tuesday activity just to get out of the house. Um, but also because I posted on my photography account that I was booking grads really soon and someone from St. Edward's wanted to book with me and I've never shot at St. Edward's so <coughs> I wanted to go check out the university and it's actually closer than UT to my house. I'm really beating myself up that I haven't really marketed myself to 
you know, that school. So I definitely need to start putting hashtags for St. Edwards. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go check out the school. I mean, I asked the girl, what are the iconic spots to shoot at? And she just named three. So I'm guessing it's a small campus. We'll see, we'll check it out. We thought we would bring Sophie, take her on a little walk around the campus. We're at St. Edwards and we've never been here. It kind of looks like a castle. So we're just gonna like walk around, check it out, see all the photo shoot opportunities. We're back home and I'm going to make some wings and some jalapeno poppers. Um, I'm gonna do the wings in the air fryer. So hopefully they turn out good. Got them all marinated with just like some wing sauce I literally found at the dollar store. Looks like this. <laughs> good morning y'all, happy Wednesday. I'm starting off today by doing 12, 3.30. It is pretty early. I decided to just get out of bed and just go and get it over with. Um, and especially because I just wanna get showered. I actually wanna get ready today because yesterday I was feeling really just like, I don't know, confident and like talkative, especially on my stories. And I wanna be on my stories more. So if you guys wanna follow me on my Instagram, go ahead and do that. Um, but I feel like putting on makeup just makes me want to talk and like engage with you guys on Instagram. Hopefully my hair is fine after today's workout because I want to start washing my hair like Monday and Thursday or Monday and Friday of every week. So washing it two times. So let's see how long I can go um, making this hair last till Thursday slash Friday. I am sweaty today. I actually tried doing my arm toning workouts while I was doing 12, 3, 30. And I think I'm going to start doing that because my arm toning workouts aren't even that long and it just makes me get my workout done and over with even faster and plus sometimes it is very tempting to hold on to the treadmill bars when I'm doing 12 3 30 but when I'm doing my arm toning workouts I can't really do that <laughs> um so I think I'm gonna start doing that but I'm gonna go home and shower and get to work I'm freezing right now I'm like cuddled up in my blanket and this big sweatshirt jacket thing <laughs> um but I am doing one of my most daunting tasks and that is creating the content calendar aka like a really big part of my job i feel like i'm a weak writer i'm good with the visuals obviously i'm a photographer i'm a videographer i can do that i can do animations all that stuff but when it comes to writing this thing is just so blank and my biggest thing is that i don't know how to write in a corporate voice and maybe not i don't know how because like i see it all over linkedin and i I know how, it's just not how I write. I definitely have a, more of a conversational voice doing, you know, my own brand, my own blog, and just writing how I wanna write. And it's so hard to make everything sound so fancy and professional, but I'm trying to work on it. Um, it really takes me forever to do this. And I literally saw a TikTok the other day. It said like, um, I created like 96 Instagram posts within, I want to say like two hours or maybe like, I think it was like 90 minutes, honestly. And I was like, okay, for what? Like, you know what I mean? If it was a corporate thing, doubt you could do that because first of all, I'm having such a hard time finding content because in an ideal world, I would be going and traveling and getting the content. But right now, obviously I can't travel, so I can't really get the content. So I'm trying to ask around the company if people have photos and no one ever takes photos. So that is another issue that I'm having. I always think about the TikTok that's like, is it scary out there? And you're like talking to your future self and then the future self comes on and it's like, no, it's really not that bad. Something like that. I don't know, I'm definitely butchering it. But that's how I feel about the content calendar right now because when COVID hit, I was like very scared about creating content because I couldn't get it myself. You know what I mean? And now I've just found ways to pull visuals from like 
everywhere I can and I've gotten more confident reaching out to other people in the company and like asking for things I need um so that's exciting and I just realized that I am coming up on my one year at Landmark Properties I started vlogging because I wanted to show you guys the animation that I just came up with it's really cute really simple but I feel like these little simple animations like pull in the audience if i saw this on someone's corporate social media i'd be like that's so cool you know so let me show you guys <laughs> like i said yesterday i was able to travel to some texas properties this one is actually in austin that i took this photo at but um the corporate lady that i was talking to had all these stickers from like landmark conferences and, like the standard which is one of their properties conference sticker con no that just says landmark properties anyways a bunch of conference stickers and guess what we have a conference this week so i just put our new conference sticker this is actually like an illustrator file or a png and i just made it look like a sticker so here you go and then i sort of like looped it let's see i can see it there we go that is the loop people and i just kind of like rotated it so it has a bit of movement and then i also added a 3d aspect to it so that i could move like all of the axes because it's not actually like flat as you can see it's kind of going like that way more like the computer face so i kind of had to work with that when i first got the job they wanted me to post three times a week but since covid hit and i'm not able to get that much content we're just posting two times a week so it's monday and thursday it's honestly hard enough to come up with content two days a week um so i'm just going through my content calendar right now and i can show you guys what it looks like this is what the content calendar looks like we have the time and date we used to switch up the caption for like the linkedin and the facebook and the instagram just to differentiate a little bit but honestly it's just the same thing now so i'm not sure why i still have like the three rows but anyways we have the hashtag group over here because if i'm talking about property management i will put the property management hashtags right there then we have the type so let's say it's a conference post i'll just put conference post caption description of content like visual content so i have the sticker on laptop and then um, in our cloud i just include the cloud link right here it was pretty simple to make on Excel and you could probably find like random content calendar templates on Pinterest or even just on Google. So I highly recommend doing this if you are a content creator for like a brand. I personally don't do this for my own brand, at least for just like my Instagram because I want it to be more real and like everyday kind of stuff, everyday kind of captions. So I don't really want to, um, you know, come up with my captions ahead of time, but obviously for like a blog post or you know a youtube channel i have a content calendar for my youtube channel actually doesn't look like this it looks like a whole calendar layout because i just want to put the title in the box and that way i can really see it as a visual and it's not so text heavy because obviously it just really needs to have like the title and then i'll come up with a script for it on the doc so that is how i do that and i know some people are really interested in like the career aspect so i'm going to try to give you guys a little bit more of that and just talk more about my you know corporate job as well as being a content creator for myself it's 11 a.m conference day two it starts i think at 12 again and hopefully i finish majority of this content calendar before conference starts i just remembered that next month is february which means that there are less days which means that there are less posts that I have to create for February. So I'm so happy right now. We currently have a break in our sessions at conference. So I'm getting a little sleepy, not gonna lie. Um, so I'm gonna make a chai. We're using the vanilla caramel chai latte from Tazo. And I'm pretty sure I got this on Amazon Fresh. I don't know why, but all I want to do is eat today. So hopefully this is going to curb my appetite just a little and give me energy because that would be great. I'm really just in the snacking mood. Like I just want something to chew on or something. Maybe I should just eat gum. I don't know. I'll link my straws and my glasses down below. I feel like I always get... Um, questions on them on my Instagram stories because I've been doing smoothies a lot recently. I was debating on this and a smoothie, but I was like, we'll just do a chai. 
It sounds easier and less cleanup, which is important. It's almost 4 p.m. and I just clocked out of work. Um, usually I get off work at 3 p.m. now. I used to get off 3.30, but whenever I went back to Atlanta, I started a little bit earlier because I wanted to just see more sun throughout the day. Um, and I decided to just keep my schedule. So now I'm working 7 a.m. to 3. I clocked out of work late today because obviously the conference is still going on, but I have to leave because I have a shoot with one of my favorite clients, Shruti. She's a blogger here in Austin and I'm contracted to work with her every month. Um, so I'm heading to a shoot for her. Basically, she just has me shoot a lot of paid campaigns because she wants that quality of content to be really good for them so i'm about to head out just got to her house i'm about to head in don't know how much i will be able to film just because you know i'm at a client's house so i will try to ask her if she's comfortable with it i'm trying to like find my feet so i can get on my car we're in the car we're probably going to go over to a park to shoot um a picture because she wants some scent flare this is Shruti, by the way She's one of my favorite clients. We always have so much fun shooting together, I feel like. Oh, we have so <laughs> much fun together. Yeah. What is your biggest tip for like being a blogger, or just like an influencer? Um, my biggest tip would be know where you need to put your energy. That's I feel like I haven't heard that before. You That's haven't a good one. heard yeah. that. I just feel like even if you think you can do it all, yeah. sometimes like find someone who can do it really really well so that you can focus your energy where you need to. I think I really needed to hear that to be honest. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like my mind is just so jumbled right now with everything going on and I just feel like there's so many, so much on my plate that I need to learn to get delegate but I just don't even know where to start. I mean key point you're an incredible photographer also and Thank like you. also as in like you're also a blogger so it's like yeah I was like oh my gosh I need to spend less energy with photography yeah more yeah energy writing yeah yeah I feel like that's where I have the weakness is writing I'm back home got my SD card gonna plug it in to my SD card reader and upload the photos for my blogger photo sessions I don't edit any of the pictures I just give them all the unedited ones which honestly is great for me because I feel like shooting is so much fun for me but editing it just is so tedious I mean it's great and everything especially when you get like that really good photo that you're excited about and the edit looks really good but I definitely feel like I favor shooting over editing I do put them into Lightroom still even though I'm not really editing any of them because if I do want to edit like one or two just for my portfolio in the future or even now um i just like to have them in my catalog so doing that now for dinner i'm attempting to cook something interesting that i've heard mixed reviews on i'm gonna try to cook some miracle noodles with a thai red curry sauce so it shall be fun i heard um the noodles stink though lara literally just messaged me on instagram she was like they literally smell like fish and i was like no please don't tell me that actually it's probably better than i know ahead of time but i'm hoping it's just like a faint fish smell and honestly ever since i had covid my smell's not really like all the way there yet so i feel like i should be fine but we'll see i guess So I opened the Miracle Noodles. This is what it looks like. I got the angel hair one, and I'm realizing that I probably should have gotten two of these to put in this because it doesn't look like too many noodles, um, but uh, it didn't smell. And I'm not sure if my senses are fucked up from Corona because I had it in March. I don't know if you guys watched that video that I told you guys that I had it, but like my smell is definitely not all the way back yet, which sucks because when your mom cooks with garlic and or you're making cookies like you want to smell that smell it sucks but i don't know what i can do um anyways <laughs> it didn't smell like fish at all i couldn't smell anything it's so weird i don't know i've definitely heard that this shit stinks if you guys have made this let me know if it like smells for you um but it says cook till dry which is interesting so cooking it in my always pan i'm loving this pan and i want to do a full video on it like cooking different kind of meals and everything just showing how it works i mean it's a pan you guys probably know how it works but just really uh doing like a full review on it it's definitely made me want to cook more just because 
it's so aesthetically pleasing and everything about it it just like does a lot so i personally really like it i'll have a link down below i know right now you have to like pre-order it and honestly when i bought it i think it was like during black friday and it took forever to get here but it was perfect because i went home for a whole month and it was here by the time i got back so I'm watching some vlogs but it is taste test time I definitely should have gotten two packets of those noodles because I feel like that was not a lot for two people and I saved some for Ryan. They really don't look like crazy, especially because I've had like those sweet potato noodles before, um, like at pokey places slash at like Chipotle kind of places. I don't know. There was this place called Fresh Kitchen in Florida. Oh my God, I miss it so much. A lot of people have said that Kava and Honest Mary's are the same things, but I just have not tried it yet. So, okay. Let's do it. I would definitely say that they're more rubbery in a way. I'm not really weird with textures, so it's fine to me, but I definitely see that it could be a little weird because like when you chomp down, it kind of sounds squishy. I don't know. The sauce that I use is really spicy. I just use like a pre-made sauce that I got from Walmart and it's really spicy. almost 1 p.m. we're doing conference it started at 12 and this goes till a lot later today because there's like the award ceremony um so i'm gonna stay on for that i want to say i'm like one of the only ones in the company that has a mac laptop and i remember when i first interviewed for the job you know i asked them if i would have a mac and they said no i would have you know a regular computer like a dell or something and i got to landmark hq in athens i traveled there to complete like training and stuff like that and there was like this mac sitting on my boss's desk with my name on it i was like wait what's that she's like oh yeah we got you a mac you know like our it guy said it would be better for your creative stuff and i was like i literally was about to cry because honestly my biggest worry was learning how to navigate a non-mac computer or pc that's what they're called yes pc and i was just so happy that day that i got a mac when i got the job they gave me a corporate card and i had to buy like final cut pro on it and everything and i didn't realize that my personal credit card was attached to my itunes account that was like on my work computer um and so I charged my personal credit card um, with the Final Cut Pro and I had it refunded because I called Apple or the App Store or something like that and got it refunded. It was still working on my laptop so I was like, I'm going to keep going and see how long it works for because I don't think I could even repurchase it because it was like working on my laptop, you know, but... I updated my computer and it finally stopped working and this whole time it said something about like an Apple ID, like a different Apple ID bought it. So I emailed the IT guy because I couldn't remember like that I bought it <laughs> and he was like, I never bought it. So do you have another Apple ID? And then I was like, oh wait, it literally says something about being refunded and I recall that I got refunded for this. So I am about to purchase um, Final Cut Pro have to 300 bucks that i'm gonna have to put in a certify report so that you know the company can pay it and i also am gonna purchase linktree pro i just made us a link tree for our instagram bio because um we wanted like you know a place where all of our links can live so we don't have to like constantly change out the website in the bio if we're talking about like a specific page on our website in the caption of like today's instagram post today i learned what a utm code is because i had to use them for the links so that we could track it so let me read this to you guys a utm code is a simple code that you can attach to a custom url in order to track a source medium and campaign name this enables google analytics to tell you where searchers came from as well as what campaign direct them to you. UTM codes are also known as UTM parameters or tracking tags because they help you track website traffic from its origin. So basically we can track these links, let's say from our website and see that these people are coming from our link tree in our Instagram bio. So I thought that was really cool. I'm going to get back to conference. I literally just went to the bathroom for maybe five minutes and Ryan was like, they're about to do a breakout session. And I ran back here. It was my first breakout session. I didn't even know what was going to go on. So I was a little anxious, but 
it went well, so we're all good. I just clocked out of work and it is the weekend for me. I don't work on Fridays, so I'm about to put my laptop in its weekend place. It's like my favorite thing to do on Thursdays. It's so lame of me, but I have this mirror over here and I just put my laptop behind it. <laughs> all right, see you on Monday. We're gonna do a little Thursday activity because it's the weekend for me, not Ryan just yet. Unfortunately, this jacket's from Carrie Underwood's line called Kalia. It's really cute. It's like quilted that mocha color. That's super in got my set active leggings on and then my Air Force Ones. Okay, so we are at Zilker because we thought we would do a little Thursday activity. So we brought a blanket. We like never bring a blanket. <laughs> Ryan brought his golf club and a ball for Sophie. So she's gonna have a lot of fun. Time to go play Sophie. <laughs> She doesn't like other dogs, she gets scared. Plus they're all so big and hyper and she's like kind of old. She's like eight years old, so let's see what she does. Is this your ball? Is this your ball? Good girl, going away from the setup. It's a pretty cold day out compared to all the other days of the week. Um, and that's probably why there's not as many people as there usually is at Zilker. Like normally you can literally not find parking. Even the gravel lot over there is like always so full, but I always try to manifest a parking spot. Sophie is just really disinterested in this ball because she's smelling so much dog pee everywhere. Stop peeing every five seconds. It's 6 p.m. and there's still some sun outside, which is good news because the days are getting longer. We're about to head out and we're really hungry. We might try a new taco place, so stay tuned. We're gonna get some birria tacos. It's our first time trying it. So Shelby, good. It's like a cheesy taco that you dip in some liquid. We're home and we're about to try the birria tacos. Smell really good. They do have cheese on them, babe. And we're gonna dip them in the sauce. And it's called consomme. Oh my god, these look so good. They smell really, really freaking good. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life. I only filmed four days because that is my work week. But if you guys want more of these kind of videos, definitely let me know and I can film it for you guys. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!